This screencast will focus on how to embed video um, from things like YouTube and have them in your Marvel app prototype. So here we are in Marvel app, we've set up a free account and we've already done some projects here as you can see and we're going to create a new project. Um, so all I do is click on new project and I'm going to call this movie app and then I'm going to select my output device which I want it to be a iPhone and then I create project. Okay so we've got our dashboard here for the movie app you can add your images here. Um, Marvel app comes integrated with Dropbox and Google Drive so you can sign up for accounts just for using uh, or prototypes rather than using your normal one that you have lots of stuff on it. Um, if I go up here add team probably seen this before it will come up and say you've only got the free account you've got to upgrade to have this function but if we move on to settings this is quite important we've selected phone but what we need to do is collect the model and up, because I've scaled it to these sizes 640 by 1136 you can also change the background color of the previews when they preview in the browser uh, next one along is general. Um, you only really need it on um, disable swiping through mobile. Um, that'll stop people just ignoring all your hotspots and just flicking through it. Um, having um, hotspot hints is really good because not everything has a hotspot on it. So you'll try and a user will click on something and it won't work and it'll flash where there are hotspots. The one underneath is scaling down larger images. That's not the case for me. I've scaled them to the sizes I want them to be. Last two about comments. If I click on enable, it comes up and says this feature is not part of the free. So you can only use um, comments if you have the paid for subscription. Then I move on to ISO settings and that's how you can just change the status bar at the top of the page. Okay, uh, security is if you want a password on it, if you're showing someone a prototype and you don't want anyone else to show it. Now I've got some um, screens um, from um, Sketch 3 app um, sources and that has lots of free resources that you can use in your projects. Um, this one is a Netflix series Android app and I've downloaded it from this location, scaled the screens to the size I want them to be. This is where I've got this from. This is my own work. Okay, so what I will do is go back to the Marvel app. I will add my images, and these are the ones that I've scaled. So I'm going to do images from computer, and I have just the three Breaking Bad ones from the app download. I bring them in. Now, the more you have, the longer this may take um, to upload these images. Um, they come through, so there I've got them. I need to rearrange them, so I'm going to put this one, that's going to be the first one here. So we've got the three images there, or three screens. I can zoom in or zoom out if we've got lots of screens and I'm working on them. Now, the first one I'm going to use will be the first one here. Now, I'm just going to put two hotspots on here. Hotspot over the top of this one, and I want this to link to this screen here. I'm going to create a transition, I'll have it sliding up, and the action will be taps or hovers or swipes, I'm just going to leave it on the tab. I close that down. Now I'll put another hotspot on here, and I link it to this one, the third one. Transition again, I think I'll have slide up, and again, check the action just on the default tab. Now I've done that, so when I click on those, it will move to those locations that I've just checked. I'll just move it into place. I can move this around if it's not exactly where I wanted it to be. It might think I want to edit it or do something else. So, you know, I've got that. You can make them bigger or you can move them around or you can duplicate them if you wanted to. So I've got that. Place it there. Okay, I'll close that down. Now I'll just click done and this will get me out of here and then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on here. I will drag out another hotspot. Whoops, got the wrong top there. Yep, just be careful I don't drag the fixed header. Drag this out 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to embed. So when the hotspot destination comes up, I click on link to URL and embed. Then I change the link to embed. Now, if I go to a YouTube page, I'm here. I'm going to get a trailer for Breaking Bad. Now, my screen is only um, 640 wide, so I don't want anything above that or it'll clip it. So lucky enough, I found 640 wide by 380. I select that and that will give me an iframe dimensions that correspond to those sizes. I go back to my Marvel app. I click down here and I paste, make sure it's got those dimensions. That's good. 640 by 360 and I save. Now, once I've done that, I can just click and close that down. Then I can click done. Now, next one, I'll click on here to edit it. And I'm going to just do the same again. I'm literally going to have the same movie on here. You'd obviously do another movie that you had. So I come back and this time link URL embed. Make sure it got embed. And then again, you paste the iframe that you copied, make sure it's on the right dimensions and click save for that. And I close that down. Now what I need to do is have some link backs. So ideally this is just an example of how you would um, put in movies and embed them. Um, this is not really a case of looking at the functionality of buttons, but I'll drag out another hotspot here. And then I'm going to link this back to my first screen. So I click here. Then I need to do the transition. And what I will do is slide left for that. I'll close it. And I'll click done. So I need to have a link back on this one. So I click here to edit it. This is the second one. And what I will do is I'll just sort of drag out a hotspot right across here. And again, this one will link back to here. I get transition and I say slide left and I close that down, right? Okay, I click done. I go back to my first screen. I click it, I've got it here. So what I'm gonna do is go up to the top and I'm gonna put a preview. And that'll open it in a new tab up here. So here it is previewing so first i just hover my mouse over the two things here and you've got these two hotspots. i click on the first one and it brings up now if i play this i'll just move it on a bit forward so that works when i click down here because i made a link it'll take me back and i click on this other one and again it takes me here i can play that On, then I click on this and that will take me back to my first screen this is just an example of how you would embed video you need to have it existing somewhere online and you create an iframe and you paste it in here this might be a good idea if you're making prototypes for players that you need to show video functionality it's a quick and easy way to do that now what we'll do just close down the preview as always, I'll just click done up at the top. When you're finished, you can do a number of things. One is you can share. So we can come over here and click the share button. Now you have the URL. So if I copy that and went say to another tab and pasted that in, here's my app. So you would give it to someone and it would work like this. Literally, that's how it would work if you want to show someone your your app. So that's one way of doing it. If I go back here, um, you can email it to someone or use text messaging. So you can email it and say, here's the link that they can follow. Now also, you can embed it. So you might have a project and you want to embed this app within it. Um, this is user testing. You'll probably find this in... Um, Envision app, which again, I think in Envision app, it's only in uh, beta, but basically it involves you sort of having a connection where you can video a user. If you're doing user testing, testing your app 
okay so that might be something you might be interested in but you know it might work a bit ropey and also it has a high spec you can only look at it in quite high spec um, phones or devices if you click at the end publish um, you can publish it so you can make this public so you can come along and, and make it public uh, and do that or it can come back and come on here and sort of unmake it public or take it down so you can have it up here so people can see it right so they're your options now the other one here download when it comes to the download it's got you can download it for different outputs so the only issue with that is all these are on the upgraded version so you can't do that if you use the envision app it will give you the opportunity to download them as a html project okay so we've got that now once you're finished i can go back here here's my project that i can open up again edit change any way i want but that's a very simple way you would insert and embed movies that are already exist online in your protein in the marvel app